You've never cheated in your whole entire life. On a test. No bullshit. You've never cheated on a woman your whole entire life. Oh my life. God. You, you can't make me acknowledge that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> What do you want to talk about? Uh, we could grab something from the fishbowl. Okay, let's do that. I think I might have some other shit that I want to talk about. I don't want to hear your shit. That was a, I shit you not. That was the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> Lack of trust always causes jealousy. Do you agree or disagree? Um, does it always cause jealousy? Most of the time. Lack of trust will cause that. Have you ever been with somebody that you didn't trust? <gasps> Ooh, have you? I don't trust anybody. Have you been with somebody who you legit do not trust to be good to you? I don't trust anybody. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> I don't. Okay. It has to be in a relationship because it's, it's saying jealousy. So relationship wise, yeah. have you ever been in a relationship where you didn't trust the girl? Never. You always I mean, trusted her? No, I mean, always. Always? You didn't trust her? Never. Okay, so uh, you stayed with her? Yeah. Um, did until, until you get caught so red, it, till I, till I was gonna Until I caught her red-handed, which I, I didn't go looking for that. Well, exactly. I mean, the only way you're going to find it is if you go look for it. Yeah. Which takes a lot of effort. Yeah, <laughs> but I, no. So and don't be so surprised. You guys don't trust anybody either. No, we don't. Yeah, and that's why it doesn't make Actually, any sense. I feel that some girls, I think some girls are more trusting than me. That's for sure. I'm, I'm very much not trusting. I do not trust people, but, um, I'm surprised to hear that you don't trust the girls that you're with. No, I would think that you wouldn't be with them then. That's not true, but I just don't at the heart of heart. So you just, so you don't trust anybody. No. So any girl that you've been with, you just, you don't trust. I'm on, let's put it this way. I'm on guard. I'm on guard. That's all. Okay. And I guess you could call that not trusting, but I'm a guard on guard. And has it ever caused jealousy for you? Yes. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Okay. So it caused jealousy. And um, what did you, how did you like, of course you knew that there was jealousy going on. Did she ever know that you were getting jealous or did you just keep it within? When in one case that I'm thinking about, she didn't know I was, uh, I had broken up with a, one of my, First loves. Sue Kuchel. Can you imagine that? <laughs> I can remember that shit. Uh -huh. Sue Kuchel. My first true love. You know, the very first one. I mean, that's what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. And I was getting ready to go to college, so I wanted to break up with her because there were gonna be there's gonna be more girls. Other fish in the sea. Other fish in the sea. Grass is greener on the other side. Yeah. Oh, you're one of those guys. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> Had, I uh, hate guys like that. We all are. I know. That's why I don't like guys. <laughs> it's just it's just part of you know that just like you guys have certain things that you're just it's just who you are. We're definitely not like that. <sighs> yeah, but you're not you're definitely got things that are negative. Trust me. Yeah, if but I don't I don't think that girls are the type that are like the grass screener on the other side. They always want their guy to be the guy. We it's like we don't really want based on stats, that's not true. Really? You guys cheat more than we do. Yeah, I hear that. So okay, go, go. go figure that anyway. So I, I, I was the one that actually mentioned that we should break up, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I spun it in a way because I tried not to make it seem so obvious that it was just, you know, more for that reason, fish in the sea. hurt her, but it was just, you know, it was the college, new, new environment. I thought on one hand, it was kind of like a smart thing to do, but I had my motives mm -hmm. and I heard that she was going, she got a date, small town. She got a date. Fuck. I was like torn up. And it was my it was my idea. And I, I shamelessly admit that when she was on that date, she used to live like in a cul-de-sac. And uh and then across from her uh her house was a field. Mm -hmm. So there was a canal and a field. Uh-huh. Dirt. 
And I remember one night, it was a weekend night, and I heard that she was going to go ahead on a date. And I was over there in that field. No one knew that I did this. She never knew. No one ever. I never told anyone. I'm telling it right now. <laughs> <laughs> that and, is definitely jealousy. And when I saw her, I didn't see anything like they may have kissed or something. I don't know. I can't remember that much because what I did is I buried my body in the dirt. And I you was, went like legit. <laughs> not batshit crazy because that doesn't happen with us. But I, 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 was, I was torn up in the dirt. Were you crying? Probably. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was awful. And you didn't want to go get her back? No. <gasps> that is fascinating that you felt that way, went that far. Because I think. And that, still didn't want to get back. Because I think I knew that, that I knew. You had to go through that. Well, I knew that I couldn't be, I wasn't capable of being, well, I didn't want to go back to her because I, I didn't think where I was going, I could be just her as, as my only girlfriend. Wow. That's crazy. So in some ways I did the right thing. Yeah. It's like crazy that I'm so, I just knew that I'm I so shocked that you felt that way and you were like, but yeah. I'm not going to do anything. But it was, there was a hole in me. Because see how she probably felt? Was that you really did not care for her the I way know. that she cared for you? I know. When really you did. I did. I, ne <laughs> I never showed it though. And that is so fascinating. I think that 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 emotion, the way I didn't show it, and yet I was very emotional about it, because I heard the same thing from my first divorce. Well, my only divorce, but <laughs> um, I heard the same thing there. Was and I think I I got that the way of dealing with that was from sports, because I was always told when some when you're hurt, don't let your the opposing team or the enemy, you know, that they're your enemy. Yeah. Don't let them know that you're hurt. You got to hide that shit hmm. because knowing that you're hurt is weakness. It's like blood in the water. And I've always been, that's always stuck with me. So when I'm really hurt the most, you probably won't see it. Wow. I internalize it. I don't want you to see that. Even though I might be crushed inside. Like I was with her. That was a big deal for me. Yeah. But that's how I handled it. And I got over it, you know, like we all do. We get over it. Mm -hmm. Little did I know there's just more to come. You know, that's just kind of. So did you have other relationships where you one. had some jealousy? All of them. So there was always jealousy. Oh, yeah. That, they just don't see it. Mm, I don't, don't, I don't see, see it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I think jealousy is brutal. And I think most of the time when it comes out, it's not nice. It's not pretty. I. But I wonder if you guys like that. And I think that sometimes Jealousy. you guys, I think sometimes you guys know that and you, you do shit to make us, to make the males jealous. I, I will tell you right now. Yes. I do believe that girls do that to make men jealous. I've seen it. Um, I personally do not do it because I do not want it done back to me. I'm like that type I've had, I've had like the dishonest men in my life. So I'm like, no, I'm not going to play games because I don't want you to play them back. I don't want to be a part of it. Um, but me, I don't know. I have to trust somebody that I'm with, or I'd just rather not be with them. Well, I, I would say that mostly trust because I can't do the jealousy thing. That's not who I am. I've like, I've never, I've never been the jealous type. Like the first guy I was really, really with my husband, you know, he was a really good looking guy, Hollister model. Like, you know, it, he, he was good looking. I never, ever, ever was jealous. I totally knew 100%. Like he was only had eyes for me, you know, that kind of a thing. As soon as the jealousy part happened, that's when things like started going bad in the marriage because I, I did feel like he didn't care for me as much. Then I started getting insecure. Then the jealousy hit. And now like with any relationship since then, I'm like, mm -mm, no, if I don't trust you, got to get, cause I can't do that anymore. I don't want to live life like that. Just constantly like wondering when are they going to see the grass is greener on the other side? 18 months. 18 months. Yeah. I think it could happen way sooner than that. It could, but I think the average is 18 months. You mean so they are, they're tired and exhausted of you at 18 it start, months? It starts wearing off about 18 months. I think months. it can wear off before that. Well, it can. I'm just saying on the average, <laughs> I'm saying it's 18 months. I've always wanted to, I've always thought maybe I could be the exception. Be like the girl that like one guy is like, oh no, grass is never going to be greener on the other side. Or at least know that. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it's possible. You sure you're not taking some shit? <laughs> what do you mean? That's got you like, I mean, like Casey and not really, you're like, you're not, it's hopeful. You're not, 
in touch with it's re hopeful reality hopeful thinking yeah that's all i'm a is. hopeless romantic yeah even though i haven't had any, you know, <laughs> any good experiences there, there you go. why why you know hope is really a setup for just disappointment you know no that. yeah hope gives people hope it's false <laughs> it's it's that's it's an intangible so you're telling me that i should just accept that any guy that i most likely marry is going to be this way yes so then what's ever going to keep a man with a woman forever well listen it doesn't mean that, that you it's like i think and maybe this is a bad example because i use a lot of them <laughs> it's like thinking that you want to kill somebody but you don't follow through <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna want to kill me no, but just not follow through. i'm talking about dealing with your jealousy uh-huh just oh so be jealous but just don't say anything i mean just know that <laughs> that guys are always thinking about other women but you know what's worse is that's just a guy's testosterone even if you most don't, of the time it doesn't mean anything even if you don't trust people and you do have this jealousy guys okay i guess girls too we can hide that shit if you don't wait, want wait 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 if you girls, don't, girls hide shit i think girls can do it too my god you're so fucking out of touch <laughs> <laughs> when did this happen to you what when did this happen you're so far out of touch what do you mean when did what I, happen i think maybe you're just hopeful maybe no i think that guys are very good at hiding stuff and i think that girls could probably be just as good and so even if somebody is cheating on you i honestly truly don't think that anybody would really find out until like i mean it has to be going on for a while the point is it's a trust you got to deal with that all the time i mean you just i know i feel like you just have to just know this is probably it could happen hey. it might be happening hey. you just have to hope the universe is gonna throw it in front of you hey. you know hey. <laughs> oh my god have you cheated i should be at no i should be a uh <laughs> you've a, never cheated in your whole entire life on a test no bullshit you've never cheated on a woman your whole oh entire my life god. You, you can't make me acknowledge that that's ridiculous <laughs> That's insane. When did you start dating people you at 13 years old? Me. I know that you have. Oh my God. I mean, there's different levels of cheating. Did I think about it? <laughs> yes, of course. Did you fantasize with somebody? Yes, of course. Is that considered cheating? Well, is it? I don't know. Is it? it? In your probably in your mind, it is. It is. <laughs> I mean, I again I expect every guy to do that. There you go. So That's you really should, it. You shouldn't have a problem with that. I expect every guy to be a looker. And like an imaginator. Is that a word? Imaginator? <laughs> I don't know. Do you, but do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> a wanderer. Yeah, that's just in our DNA. Yeah, don't you say that's, in your guys' red blood or something? Yeah. Your red blooded men? Well, I mean, to go back to the caveman, fuck, we're hunters. We hunt. Just like your guys are gatherers. You gather, <laughs> you nest, we hunt. See what I mean? Yeah. How can you change that? It's DNA. It's in our DNA. It's in your DNA. How can you change that? You hope. So then you do you think the, do you think change. these relationships with the men that are like really be, in love uh, with their women and super like devoted to them, you think it's bullshit? I should be a counselor, huh? Hey, do you think it's bullshit? <laughs> Say again. Like the guys that are with these women and they truly act like, you know, like, no, this is my girl. Like, this is my girl. I love her. Like they act like that. Do you think it's all bullshit? Well, here's a, how that sentence should be. <laughs> the reality. You are my girl and I love you, my girl, for now. For now. For now. You're so discouraging. <laughs> <laughs> well, the for now could be a long time. Oh, goody. You know, so what? For is now, it going to be five years? It's in the moment. It's be 10. How can I predict that? How can one predict that? What is going to be? Well, normally there? I think you're supposed to like fall in love and then um you know work on it and stay in love. I think that's what I think that's what they say you should do. I mean, the fact that you're saying you think you don't know. No, that's me being sarcastic. Oh. <laughs> anybody who is really you can testify. Anybody who's been in a marriage for a long time, anytime I ask them anything, it's the fact that we didn't love each other always. We didn't even like each other sometimes, but we just kept fighting for it. Like you like pick the person that you want to go through the bullshit and the good stuff that like with, correct? Okay. Is that correct? Can you, <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention to you. You know, that's another thing guys do. We don't pay attention. Oh my God. So tell me again, what were you saying? I'm I feel like I'm being interrogated. 
<laughs> what is it? I'm saying you've been in a marriage for a long time. Truth and nothing but the truth. truth. So help me God. Uh, I, you've been in a marriage for a long time. Yeah. So anybody that has been in a marriage for a long time, when yeah. I ask them something, they yeah. always say that it like it wasn't peachy perfect all the time. You know, sometimes they probably were feeling like they were going to divorce or this and that, but they always fought to make it work. And then you just kind of decide, like, who do you want to have by your side through the good and the bad? That is a good notion. Yeah. Yeah. Because some because sometimes you won't like that person. Yeah. Uh, or maybe not even love them and you yeah. have to build the love. Yeah. Or have a kid and trap them. No, <laughs> that won't trap anybody these but, days. But you guys do that. Women? Oh, come on. Don't look so fucking surprised. That's okay, ridiculous. No, again, I will say I have heard of a woman doing that and it baffles me. It baffles me. You have heard of a woman? You're, like, you're so surprised about I that. I have heard and I was baffled and I really didn't believe it because, of course, the guy told me, yeah, my girlfriend took out her birth control without telling me so she could entrap me and it didn't work and I still left. And then it's like, so you mean, so in my head, I'm thinking this girl... <laughs> Went out of her way to get pregnant for a 50-50 chance that you're going to stay or she was going to be a single mom. That's another word for batshit crazy. I don't know. I'm just making shit up. That really just baffles me. I'm like, I just can't even imagine. Well, but on a, on a more serious, real note, sometimes people do think in a, in a relationship that that'll work. That having a kid will, will bring the marriage together. Mm. You ever heard of that? Come on. Uh, I think I've heard of that one too, but I don't think it would because I know how hard a kid is. It's going to just put more stress on any relationship. Yeah, I think that's usually what happens. You're not going to have quality time anymore. Her hormones are going to be all off. You're going to have a baby screaming in the background. It is not going to make the situation better whatsoever. Will you have those sweet little moments every once in a while of your cute little family? Well, yes. it goes back to like when you're first with a relationship, those sweet little moments, yeah. they turn into. But know, then 95% of the time it's going to be you wanting in, to pull your hair out and somebody please make the baby they, stop crying. Those sweet little moments turn into something totally different. You know what? Should, what they should, hey, did you ever watch a, a show called, uh, Brad Pitt was in it, I think, something Benjamin? Where he ages. Benjamin Buttons. Buttons. Uh huh. Maybe they should do the um, getting married and all that. Go through that. They should do it like backwards. You know, like you're. All, they have. They have in a in a marriage. Uh, it's called Blue Valentine, and um. Who's in it? Oh God, who's in it? I can't tell you. It's but some famous it? people. Yeah, and basically it uh shows them it shows like their love for each other. And then it, sh it shows how they like grew that love. And then it also shows what happens at the end when, right when they're about to divorce. So it shows you like, Oh, no, I mean, take it all the way to being a baby, like being born. Yeah. But that's, that's basically saying you want to take the marriage from like oh, when it was born yeah. to the ending of it. So yeah, it, it shows it be, you, it would be a great ending. Like how sweet he is. And he's like, you know, yeah. just like wooing her yeah. and she's dancing and they're That's laughing. That's the way it should be. And then it goes to, it like flashes to what's really happening in the day. And like, they can't even sit next to each other. And she's just super tired of him. And he's not as good looking as he used to be. But then he gets better looking and it goes earlier into their relationship. It's going backwards, right? Oh, I you get see what, what I mean. Saying. So Blue go, Valentine would you, be the closest thing to what you're probably you go trying through to say. all that, uh, you know, old and you go and then you know just kind of going through through you're just kind of each like hanging that would be a good time. movie. Yeah, we should make Charlie make that movie. And then <laughs> and then you you end up on a really really good note. That's good. So starting at old, yes, where like they're just sitting staring at each other, drooling, just <laughs> <laughs> yes, to them, hating each other, to them then being like. Just you know, tolerating. 60, 50, looking yes. at their grandkids to yeah. them being like 30, 40 with yeah. their kids. Yes. Then being 20 with their newborns yes. and then 18 meeting each other on the first yes. date. Yes. That yes. Would be a really and good then movie. die. <laughs> I think that makes more sense. That would be a good movie. Because it's so sad. The what if way. we went backwards it's in life? So, well, it's so sad. <laughs> think about it. When people lose their mate of 50 years, fuck that i know that it's would be sad that would be like ripping your soul out yeah i just i see it in like these commercials you know in fact i just saw it the other day the dad he lost his wife of 50 years i mean that's a hole big hole to yeah. fill and then to be that age years? at least when you're young you take you handle that shit a i mean i only had my dad in my life I, he died when i was 19 so i had him in my life for 19 years yeah 
19 years yeah. and like a, a part of me died died so to have somebody who's my best friend who was there every single day oh my god like my lover my god of 50 years oh that's horrible awful it's a it's an awful joke who made but this? if you fall in love with somebody that's what you're setting yourself up for that's true that's and that's life and it's like do you really want to do that i think about that with my dog because you know dogs oh. only live 12 15 years most yeah i can't take it. and when i'm walking with her and we're like you know me and liam are playing with her and stuff i think oh my god we have to lose her like i bought this animal for us to love to just lose. to break our hearts That's right. at the end of it i know you know i i i i hate to say this but it's true i've actually cried more for my dogs that had to be put down than i did for my parents and I don't know if that's like a real sickness, but it's the truth. <laughs> I, I, I can handle for some reason. I could handle both of my parents, you know, and not that I didn't feel for them. Mm-hmm. I did. I'm talking about just being, you know, pretty torn up. My, the dogs, I think it's, you know what? I think They're it's because, like your baby. Well, I think it's because dogs have dogs in dog's case. Maybe the cats are the same way. All they do is give you love unconditional yeah that's so but i think that's just like a kid that's like you losing an an eight-year-old or a nine-year-old or a ten-year-old yeah okay honestly you have them for what 12 13 years it's like you losing a 13 year old i think that maybe i think that's probably why well and i think it makes a difference like when they die like if your parents die like at your age i think that's you're going to feel that maybe some ways more than like my dad and my mom they're already up you know 80s i mean you hate to lose them for sure but you also kind of knew like it was coming well yeah we know that you know it's coming I mean, I think differently now. I'm like 66. But yeah. I think, you know, shit. I think it's that with you and the dogs and, you know, the fact that you and your wife, like, those are your babies they in really your are. house. Yeah. It's just you two and those and those dogs. And I got to tell you something. When Sadie is not with me, like yesterday, I went and got IV and I left at the gym. <laughs> Fuck, all I can do is think about her. <laughs> well, you know, I talked to you. I said, how's Sadie? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I was I'm like, legit. she's in the same spot you left her. <laughs> and when I When I leave her at home sometimes. It's so, you called Tina. No, it's just I know where she's at. No, I keep looking in my back seat because that's where she she travels with me mm-hmm. inside. Yeah, and I keep looking for her. Keep looking for her. I'm like, oh my god, this is insane. The dog. Yeah, I got gotcha. uh, you. You are you figuring me again? No, I, I have to tell you when it's about the oh, time. Oh, it's time to go now. Yeah, well, yeah. eventually. It's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we out. Yeah, we had a good one topic. I think we, yeah, we focused on one, only one topic, but pretty much. Yeah, it was good. Fishbowl the... has some good ones in there. We got to keep pulling. Okay, yeah. Okay. We so, out. We out.